so a lot of you actually wanted to see how our home looks like when I posted a poll. So here it is, our home tour! So just like every other home tour video that you have seen, uh, you have to take a look at how the house used to look like. Check it out. Yes, so we have transformed the entire home of ours into something that we really like and uh, I think the theme that we went for is industrial, modern, um, luxe, I don't know. We are the interior designers of our own home so we'll show you more. But before that, of course, I need to show you our entrance and uh, we also got digital locks that is coordinated or synchronized. We forget a lot of things, we forget our keys so I think this is the best way to um, enter our home so yeah it's also fingerprint so come on in welcome to our home so this is the foyer of our home whenever you open the door uh, i mean you don't open the door whenever we keep the doors open uh, people outside can only see this beautiful vinegar statue that we got from malaysia i also actually painted uh, repainted some of these uh, parts of the, the statue just to make sure that it looks nice and neat. And we also have this wallpaper, uh, it's textured wallpaper and uh, both Vishnu and I really like this piece. So yes, that's our wallpaper and this is our hip vent chest. So this chest is interesting, you don't see any handles right, it's all clickable. You click and you open the door. I love to organize everything. Uh, every cupboard, every wardrobe you open, right? There should not be any loose items. It turns me off. Yeah, so this is the foyer. And also we have this beautiful centerpiece. Uh, light, chandelier. I don't know what you call that, but uh, it looked interesting. This fall ceiling, something was missing. Uh, it needed to have uh, an attractive piece. So we thought, why not go for this on the whole? For renovation, we spend close to about 60k and with the fittings and everything, it'll be about 70k. So, not bad, right? Okay, I need to take a break. Vishnu, you take over. Okay, so taking over from Sudha, this is the hall. Uh, what we love about the hall, right, is that it's very, very spacious. It's very huge. So, you, as you can see, this, this whole space, you can use this for like, you know, functions or like you want to do art. We'd probably be using this for like, Thera therapy, you know, like uh, suddenly therapy, we want to do. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I mean like therapeutic sessions, therapeutic sessions. Oh dear. You know, like, yeah. So, this is the area behind the sofa. Well, in front of the sofa is our small entertainment place. So this is where we will be winding down la, every day, right? So, and yeah, oh, we have a nice prism TV and also we have an amazing sound bar. This bench, this TV bench is from Ikea. So this one is the uh, pink salt. I think Himalayan salt. La. So this is basically, again, to ward off evil eyes and evil energy, basically. So, and this coffee table is also from Ikea. Basically, it's, uh, how to say, it's the same uh, theme. So, uh, we wanted to match the TV bench to the coffee table and also wanted it to match with the wood of everything else. So, this uh, armchair and this sofa is all from hip van. So, uh, what you can see is that we tried to match the wood, see the wood, right? And this wood, all the wooden tones and everything. So basically, in order for you to not to sneeze, you have to plug in this guy, right? So that's what we did. So we really love this piece because uh, we got this from Shopee. Yes, from Shopee. Shopee. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is not sponsored by Shopee. Yeah, Shopee. it's not but, sponsored. Okay. But, but uh, basically, we love this piece and I think it adds character to the house. So this wallpaper is also another thing we. Uh, really love. Usually people do wallpaper on the wall, like on straight walls. But what we did is, we did a wallpaper from bottom 
all the way from the bottom floor to the ceiling. Yes. And it spreads to near the sofa area. So let me talk about the blinds, right? So these blinds are also from the same place as the wallpaper. One thing about the blinds is that this also adds character to the hall. The whole hall actually puts together well and gives you a very New York kind of vibe, right? A very small, cozy New York apartment kind of vibe. Let me just throw it back to Suda. <laughs> you quite look confused. I'm at the heart of the hall. Excuse me. <laughs> so kitchen is actually usually the heart of the hall. And you know something, we actually designed the entire home using a 5D planner. As you can see, that's the original design and this is our kitchen. So this is um, something that I really love. Uh, we really wanted a dining space that is together with the kitchen because uh, it's just the two of us for now. Of course, we like to throw parties, we like to call over our friends. And even then, we always keep it very small and very cozy and intimate so that's what we wanted to go for so this is actually called peninsula i learned it from a lot of uh, home tour videos so peninsula means um, the tabletop is attached to the wall we have vinyl floors and uh, vinyls all over the walls as you can see they are black they look like black tiles right you are wrong okay they are from the floors emporium i think they did an amazing job and they gave us a very good discount so i'm very thankful for that so thank you Floss Emporium for this amazing floors and the vinyls because I think um, for couples this day and age, right, breaking the tiles, redoing a lot of things is going to cost you so much. So overlaying is sometimes the key if you think that you can maintain well and um, you know sustain everything that's here properly. So that's one route that we took to save a lot of money. We also wanted an induction instead of a stuff because of um, I think Maintaining the stuff, like taking out all the different grills and whatnot, is going to be so much of effort for us. It's so tasking. We also went for an island um, hop, hood, hood, sorry, island hood. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a regular high elevated um, counter. It's actually a normal table size counter. So we were looking for stools that is like a normal chair. Uh, it's not too high. Okay, so follow me. I'll show you guys more of how we came up with this design. Uh, also, what I really, really like about it is when we cook, we serve a steamboat session here. I think that's one thing we had in our mind when we are designing this space. Vishnu's neat handwriting was on all of these um, spice uh, containers. Okay, usually kitchen have a lot of cabinets. What's a kitchen without a cabinet, right? But uh, we want to jump onto the trend and we decided to go with shelves. So this also contributes to making the kitchen look bigger. So usually this kind of shelves, we have all the different decors that you can do that it really suits your theme. So make sure that you stick to the colour theme. Of course, a lot of you will be wondering, uh, won't this get dusty? Of course. Uh, so you should be cleaning. I painted this for months for this beautiful <laughs> home. I was waiting for you to come today. <laughs> yeah, I think you saved the best for the last, right? So, this bread painting is something that I had in mind. Uh, and I was telling Vishnu that we both must have an art piece. I was uh, diligent. I went on for months and I ended up having this painting. So, even this painting matches our colour themes. And also, all the other kitchen electricals, as you can see, electrical items, they are also in black. Like I said, black and black always works. Uh, it's so new, right? I mean, it's literally the fourth or fifth day that we moved into this house, so most of the wrapping is not removed. And if you're an Indian, the wrappings remain until they really come out, okay? And we also got this from Mr. DIY from Malaysia. It looks so classy because we have some spotlights. Um, these lights are track lights, right? So we shine it at the right places around the house to emphasize uh, the beauty of every item that we have. I know you have an easier way to remove. Every single time I try, it just doesn't come out. There you go. So, we, I mean, I don't wash the entire kitchen. We wash whatever that we need. Sometimes we wash our face with it, right? I think. Uh. <laughs> and also, even my hand soap and uh, dish soaps, they are labels. Now we are in the service yard part of the kitchen. This is our fridge and it's also black. So this was ordered online so that it blends well with the entire house and also we can organize our dispensers, our detergent dispenser. So the, those things will actually come in 
later on because we are still in like four days, five days in. Now, let's move on to the toilet. Right now, we are at the toilet. This is the common toilet. So, uh, as you can see, this part is all tiles, right? That's wrong. These are not tiles. These are overly. They call it decorative panel. So, uh, we approached 98 uh, to do these turnkey projects. So, they did this uh, idea for us because we were like, how else to save money? Here, it's all lux, as you can see. So, you see the gold color. There are touches of gold here and there. And you see this ceramic. You can see gold touches here and there, right? This thing, right, also can dim and brighten up also. We did decide to waterproof the entire toilet and you know, hack away the old tiles and put on new tiles. Ugly pipes that we can't cover at all. Maybe you can do one uh, carpentry for this, lah, but that carpentry will also cost you money, right? So the best and cost effective, uh, the cost effective way to do this is paint it black. So this shower screen is nice, right? Huh? Very nice, very decorative, very right? really beautiful, right? Yes, we did plan to have this and you can probably see it in our 5D planner, right? This, we had it planned from scratch that, okay, we have to have this in our toilet. We decided to have a heater. I mean, everyone decides to have a heater, right? This is a, what do you call it? Not a storage heater, the opposite one. Instant like. heater. Ah, instant heater. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is an instant heater. The shower area is brown, right? And the rest of the walls are white. Why? Because this is the theme. So we actually... <laughs> <laughs> so we are in the master bedroom and this is where we spend a lot of time in rejuvenating, uh, re-energizing ourselves, getting good sleep. So this place is something that I really really love in terms of uh, the comfort, the master bed. <laughs> no? It's the master Bedroom. Bed. We had a grey bed frame and I think uh, we still stick to the theme because our walls are painted grey, right? All around the house. So somehow or other this matches. Um, and bed sheets, okay, uh, tip. Another tip that you can take from me is uh, don't compromise on them as much as you can. Uh, make sure that they are comfortable and it's clean. Try to change them as often as possible. And uh, the more layers you have in terms of your pillow, the more rich it will look like. I also like to show you uh, a side table that we have uh, which is super cool okay it's also grey in colour can I sit down? Isa, come down come down with me okay <laughs> so this side table uh, it's super cheap okay it's about okay I wouldn't say cheap okay cheap in the sense if it's a furniture if it's below 100 it's cheap don't judge me I don't know so what I like about this is uh, I think my father-in-law also has one in his home and I got inspired by it and we both really wanted it so we thought this would go on well we have two on each side of the bed uh, this has light and the light will change to different colors I'll show you more close-ups as we are as I'm speaking so it changes to different colors you can charge your phone on top of this panel at the same time there are also uh, different um, sockets at the side and USB ports for you to charge as well there's so many items to charge while you're sleeping and it has very cute little drawers so this makes your entire bedroom sleeping experience clutter free okay so moving on to the other part of the room of course here we have a huge window we covered it up with blinds so basically our plan here is to have a projector our wedding picture Initially, we didn't want to have anything here, uh, but the person who was helping us drill the photograph, uh, he said this is the better spot to drill it. We initially wanted to put it on top of the chest, but since the chest was too high, we thought keep our picture here. So, remind us that we are married and we are not children. So, let's move on to the master toilet. You come this way. Let's go. So here is the master bathroom, toilet. Uh, we have a Lux theme for both our bathrooms. So, so in terms of all the fittings that we had, um, the pipe that's also coloured in matte black. I really, really, really love this his and her vanity uh, cabinet sink. We wake up together, we can brush our teeth together. We also have um, very nice gold touches to the sink. Um, like I said, to add to the luxe element. And here we also have a bigger mirror. One difference this has is um, the part where it removes the condensation on the mirror. And we can also change the dimness of the light. Of course, HDB houses 
hardly have bathtubs but a lot of us are going for that these days so this is something that i personally told vishnu to change in terms of our plan because we both initially planned to have just a normal shower area until we went to go shop for sinks and toilet fittings and then when i saw a bathtub i was like I can't stop the temptation and also we have a shower screen so at least we prevent as much of water from coming out to the floor to the tiles and we don't like it if our toilet is wet we have color coordinated bottles and uh, labels of conditioners body wash and shampoo you can get them cheap online okay and uh, Hera is what that gave us the bathtub uh, it's not free we paid for it actually one thing you need to remember is in this house we paid for almost everything maybe 90% of it okay we may be influencers artists or whatever but we didn't get like sponsors to give us like things for free for at least 99% of those things that you see in this house it's all paid for the most exciting part of the master bedroom is something that you have yet to see which is the walking wardrobe this is every girl's dream but i'm not going to make this just about me okay there's a story that i need to share vishnu when we were shopping at ikea ever went past this uh walking wardrobe a uh, concept like a gentleman kind of a thing and he fell in love with it and he thought you know what one day we should have a walking wardrobe and that's something that we both agreed on so this is vishnu's side of the walk-in wardrobe he is super neat he color coordinated everything uh, to his to the best of his abilities and everything so yeah and we got it from ikea as you can see nothing here is wall mounted but we might change this room to have a proper wardrobe again we just go with the flow and then we have a small feature area we do not really have that many branded stuff uh, hopefully we can get more but uh, anyways that really doesn't matter so we did have some space between the window and the wall uh, and we had a perfect fitting mirror over here i think it's so nice that it fitted here so perfectly and this is the best part of this entire walk-in wardrobe which is this settee okay it's a storage settee this one is actually uh, wall mounted we also have venetian blinds and uh, initially we did take some uh, beauty shots of the view when there was some sunlight so you can have a look at that so we have a beautiful sea view from here so that is the reason why we emphasized uh, this area look at the view enjoy and appreciate what we have because we got the highest floor and uh, we also have a steamer that we you know have conveniently hidden here and then we also have my side of the wardrobe it's a lot of clothes that i'm so ashamed of it because when i was unpacking and putting in my clothes right it's literally suffocated and then we also have uh, this mini uh, dressing table that was assembled by vishnu so right now we are at the parting way or what we call as the hallway so right above us is the aircon right so this is a daikin aircon and uh, it's a very uh, what do they call it energy saving aircon so if you have a big hall if you have a big space it's very it's much better to take a bigger higher powered aircon this light is a bit unique right it's a bit different right so you can try to get something like this so the warm tone will really uh, help you make the space look more sophisticated now let's move on to the studio this is where art comes to life so um, as you know we are both composers we are both singers so we definitely need this place i think we i need to turn on the light first so that you can see it so these are rocket 5 speakers these are what do you call it the industry standard speakers so we will be using them for our mixing this is sudas plug for passing 100000 subscribers this is her silver play button it's all her hard work okay so we also put our double tier keyboard here uh this is sudas keyboard this is my keyboard uh we both will be using it interchangeably and also our hall of fame so this hall of fame not complete um is incomplete of course this is actually sudas idea so uh, i would probably have gone for like a glass cabinet or something but she stuck to the entire theme and also this piece of furniture right here we also got this furniture from hipvan uh and it blends well with the studio room so the black and the brown obviously is a running theme of the entire house as you can see 
And this place is where we will probably have a neon LED light with our studio name on it. Which and is? Which is Swish Studios. It's right here, Swish Studios. Yes. And so for those who want to engage us, you can uh, contact us at our own mobile numbers. This is the recording space. Lah. This is the recording space. So we've got a mic, mic shield and everything. Right? So yeah. I think there's more to more to come. Lah. We will be working uh, and putting in more into this studio. So thank you for watching our home tour video. I think we showed you almost everything and we feel so vulnerable. If you have evil eyes, I'm going to give you some salt. Himalayan salt, look at this. Get rid of your evil eye energy. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, thank you so much for watching. You guys requested it, so we gave you. Uh, we hope that we helped you understand how to design your space. We are not like professional interior designers, but maybe we might consider that because I think we did a good teamwork and effort to come together with this house. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, sadly, we don't have a cameraman, so we are interchangeably using the camera. So Vishnu, you should say thank you as well. Okay, thank you guys. Hey, probably I'll just come in here. Thank you guys. Maybe this is not the perfect camera angle, but yeah, thank you for watching the uh, full video and for not getting bored in the middle of it. Yes, and uh, stop <laughs> Bye. Bye.